Hello friends, welcome to Inside Learners. Today we shall discuss the next problem. Evaluate limit as x tends to 0, 1 divided by x minus cot x. So first we shall write the given. So the given is limit as x tends to 0, 1 divided by x minus cot x. So first step is we need to check the form by substituting the limit as x tends to 0. So as you know that 1 divided by 0 is nothing but infinity. So first we shall 1 divided by x minus. So we shall write the cortex equal to. Cortex can be written as cos x divided by sin x. So now we shall check. Uh, but as we know that uh, the cot 0 is nothing but infinity. Cos 0 is nothing but uh, 1 and sin 0 is nothing but 0. So 1 by 0 is again infinity. So this will be of the form infinity minus infinity form. So in order to calculate the LCM, we have rearranged this term as cos x divided by sin x. So whenever we have the form of infinity minus infinity form, so we need to convert, we need to find the LCM on both the sides and then uh, we need to convert it into either 0 by 0 form or infinity by infinity form. Then we need to apply the L hospitals rule and then obtain the constant value. So uh, we have uh, found that it is of the infinity by infinity form. So our first step is to take the LCM. So to take LCM on both sides. So take LCM on both sides. So here the equation is 1 divided by x minus cos x divided by sin x. So now we shall take the LCM on both the sides. So the LCM will be x into sin x. So now here at the denominator we have x but there is no sin x. So multiply it with sin x. So here we have sin x and multiply it with x. So it will be 1 into sin x will be sin x minus x into cos x. So now we shall again check by substituting the limit as x tends to 0. You know that sin 0 is 0 minus 0 into entire term will be 0 and at the denominator sin 0 is 0. So 0 into x is again 0. So this will be 0 by 0 form. So therefore here we have converted the infinity by infinity form to 0 by 0 form by applying the by taking the LCM on both the sides and we have converted into 0 by 0 form. So our next step is using L hospitals rule we need to differentiate the numerator and denominator. So using L hospitals rule differentiating numerator and denominator. So differentiating numerator and denominator and denominator we have. So we have so first we shall write the equation in the form of f of x so f of x equal to sin x minus x into cos x then whole divided by x into sin x so this is the f of x so now we shall uh, differentiate the numerator and denominator so differentiation of f of x equal to f dash of x equal to so now we shall differentiate the numerator so differentiation of sin x will be cos x minus apply u into v rule x will be 1 into keeping cos x as it is plus then keeping x as it is into differentiation of cos x will be minus sin x. Then whole divided by differentiation of denominator so again apply u into v rule. So it will be 1 into sin x plus keeping x as it is into differentiation of sin x will be cos x. So this is the f dash of x. So we shall write the f, or f dash of x equal to cos x minus cos x. So here plus into minus will be minus x into sin x. Then whole divided by sin x plus x into cos x. So here you can check cos x and cos x gets cancelled and the remaining is minus x into sin x whole divided by keeping the denominator as it is which will be sin x plus x into cos x. So this is f dash of x. 
now again we need to differentiate this so differentiation of f dash of x will be f double dash of x so again we need to calculate the f, f double dash of x so f dash of x will be f double dash of x equal to so again we need to apply the u into v rule so again apply u into v rule so minus 1 into keeping sign as it is keeping sin x as it is plus so then here we have minus x so minus x into differentiation of sin x will be cos x then whole divided by sin x is differentiation of sin x will be cos x plus again apply u into v rule 1 into cos x plus x into dif differentiation of cos x will be minus sin x so therefore it will be minus sin x then plus into minus will be minus cos x so it will be minus x into cos x then whole divided by cos x plus cos x minus x into sin x so now we have obtained this so now we shall directly apply the limit as x tends to 0 So now we shall directly apply the limit as x tends to 0. So limit as x tends to 0 minus sin x minus x into cos x then whole divided by cos x plus cos x minus x into sin x. So that is limit as x tends to 0 sin 0 is nothing but uh, 0 minus so x is 0 so 0 into entire term will be 0 then whole divided by cos 0 is nothing but 1 plus 1 minus this will be 0 so this will be 0 divided by 2 so 0 divided by 2 is nothing but 0 itself so 0 is the required uh, result for the given equation thank you friends for more problems on l hospitals rule go to our channel and please subscribe us